Let's have a look at some more basics of spreadsheets using Google Sheets. So as I said, yes, we're going to look at some more basics of spreadsheets using Google Sheets. So let's get started. Here we have a simple spreadsheet of a, a rock band called Rage Against the Banana Zombies. And they've got a spreadsheet showing their concert ticket sales for 2017. And they have four concerts a month. And they had a tour break in May where they didn't do any concerts. And as you can see there are the number of tickets sold for each concert. So the first thing they would like to do is to get a total of how many tickets were sold for each month. So similar to the first video, we just simply go equals sum, open brackets, and highlight those B3 to B6 and enter and there's our total. Quicker way to do that would be to go up to functions, choose sum, does the same sort of thing, select the row, select the numbers or the values and hit enter, same thing. Instead of repeating that process, remember all we do is we come here, grab the little corner of the cell there and drag that along to the end and there we have our totals. We also want to get averages as well. They wanted to know what the average number of ticket sales were for each month. So the same thing, equals average. Remember equals tells the computer that we're writing a formula. And we go average, open bracket and select those again. Close bracket and hit enter. Once again, we could have done that simply by going up to here and going average instead of sum. And again, it asks us to select the cells like so. So I'm moving through this a bit quicker than the first video because we should have a bit more of an idea of what's going on. Again, we drag that right across to the end and there are our averages. Notice how we have a bit of an issue there. So we probably don't even need data in those ones. So let's just do that. And notice how we've got decimal places. You might not want to have decimal places. You might want to round it up to the nearest full number. So we can just go format and we can go zero decimal places there. That's fine. Um, now what we want to do now is we want to create a graph or a chart of the results. So what we're going to do is we are going to see firstly in Google Sheets there's a few different ways of doing this. We're just going to go up to insert and we're going to go to chart and let's just see what happens. No data. Why is that? Because we haven't selected anything. What's going to happen if we just select everything in our graph and go insert chart? It does that. It's a it looks sort of interesting, but it doesn't really tell us much. It's comparing all the wrong things. It's comparing the totals with the averages, with the actual concerts. It's not a good graph. So we'll delete that and we will select, be selective about what we select. We will select the, whoops, select the months and then using the command key on a Mac or the control key on a PC, we're going to select the monthly totals. Now let's see what happens now when we go insert chart. Now there we go. It's been selective. It knows that we're looking at monthly totals because it's grabbed that information from there and it's put that heading there as well. And it's put in our months as well because we have selected that data. So it has been able to understand that data a lot clearer. So in Google Sheets, you can do a whole lot of customization to your charts change the title, change the horizontal axis, which you should have a horizontal axis. You can put in here month or months of 2017, maybe something like that. There we go. You can change the colors. You can do all sorts of things with the customizing uh, menu here. So have a bit of a fiddle around with those. You can put in trend lines, put in the data, the actual numbers if you want to put them in. Because it's only one color, we don't need it really need a legend. So we click on legend and we go none. That changes things a little bit. If you want to have somewhere good for your chart or your graph to go, you can right click and you can go. Um, oh, goodness me. Where is it? Maybe it's here. Move to own sheet. There it is. Move to own sheet. So if I do that, uh, we've got a 
second sheet now with the that graph and that looks a lot better. Now, because this is showing a trend, the type of chart really probably shouldn't be a column chart. It should probably be a, a line chart, which looks a bit funny because of May, but we could go uh, this one, smooth line chart, it's the same one. I kind of like the smooth, different kinds of charts. So it's best to pick one that most accurately represents the information that you're wanting to convey in your chart. I'm going to stick with the smooth one because I kind of like that. Okay, so that's that. Back to the first sheet. Let's do the same thing for the monthly averages. Remember we select the months first. Use the command key to select a second row of data and we go up to insert, chart, put that into and the new sheet again let's change it so that it's a consistently looking at the same thing it kind of looks very much the same as the first one does it not so that's it for this episode of spreadsheet basics hopefully you learned something more about spreadsheets and we'll see you in the next episode bye for now so if you found that useful maybe check out one of my other videos and maybe even subscribe